Ooh, how unfortunate, how unfortunate. One of the individuals accused of murdering Fulio is sending messages that he misses the world. He misses the world. Think about that. Think about that. He hasn't even been behind the bar for one month yet. And already he's saying he misses the world. He wants to come out already. Think about it. Think about that. But unfortunately, this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning for this young man. Bond, that is what a Hillsborough County judge ruled for the three suspects arrested in connection with killing a rapper outside of a Tampa hotel back in June. Police say Alicia Andrews, Isaiah Chance, Sean Gaithright, and Rashad Murphy followed Julio Fulio while he was celebrating his birthday. Bond, that is what a Hillsborough County... It's really, it's really unbelievable. It's really unbelievable. Think about that. Went out of their way to commit a crime, a notorious crime, a murder. Think about that. Think about that. And in return, you want to get out. You say you miss the world. Think about that. Think about that. Young man's posting that he missed the world. Three suspects will be held without bond until trial. I'm finding that there is a substantial probability that all three defendants committed the dangerous crimes that they are charged with. Right now, two additional suspects, Davion Murphy and Rashad Murphy, are also facing murder charges in connection with the crime. Davion Murphy has not been arrested at this time. That all three suspects. Here we go. Here we go. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe button, like, subscribe button, tell a friend, tell a friend. Here we have another crazy, another crazy story. The individuals, individuals who went out of their way, you know, to did that, you know, to commit a crime, commit a crime. They did what they did to that popular up and coming rapper fool. You know, you know what they did, you know what they did. So these individuals, these individuals right here, you know, they had to go to court. They had to go to court. But when they were in court, when they were in court, they looked so sad. They looked so sad. I wonder why they didn't want to put a smile on their face. They look like they regret what they did. Think about that. Think about that. Imagine doing something. Imagine doing something. Then afterwards, you will regret it. That must be a crazy thing. Must be a terrible thing. But imagine if what you did was one of the worst things you could possibly do to someone. Take their lives. Separate them from their families, their friends, their fans. And now they're looking for leniency. They're looking for some type of a sympathy. Look how sad they look. I mean, are you hoping that the sad look will maybe, you know what? Um, you know, I'm going to give them a break. I'm going to give them a break. They said they caught, they found these individuals on camera loading up the car with ammunition and, and, and all type of um, firearms. Think about it. Think about it. They said they were loading up the car like they were going on a trip. On a trip. Little did they know they were going on a trip. Right to jail for the rest of their lives. When they were loading up the cars with all them guns, what are they thinking about? You know what? You know what? This might be it for us. Might be it for us. I don't think so. I believe they thought they were so smart, so smart, they were going to go ahead and do the crime, come right back home, and continue playing video games like nothing happened. Think about it. Think about it. So sad. Why did they decide to throw them lies, their lives away? I don't know. Young men. They're going to be in jail in their 20s, 30s. They said they might even get the death penalty. But why do they look so sad, though? Unbelievable. Hopefully, eventually, they will cheer up. Eventually, hopefully, they could cheer up, but most likely not. Most likely, it looked like one is ready to start talking. One, he looked like he's ready to start talking. Why not? He don't want to be there. He looked like he want to watch TV. He want he, he want to have a steak and cheese sub. He looked like he want a sub. He looked like he want a piece of chicken. I don't know. I don't know. Unbelievable. The life of a, of a criminal. It comes along with sad face. Sad face in the court. Unbelievable. This young man look like he's ready to tell on somebody. He look like he's saying, you know what? Who could I tell on? Who could I tell on? I need to be free. I need to be free. 
But when they were free, they took it for a joke. Unbelievable. What I'm trying to figure out is why do these young men look so sad? They look guilty. Think about that. Think about that. They wasn't even found guilty, but their body language is of a guilty person. I don't know. I'm just talking. That's it. That's it. So basically, they threw their lives away for little old Fulio. Fulio was worth more to them than everything else in the whole entire world. Think about that. Think about that. Think about that. Now, the only thing they could do now is to think about this man Fulio until their dying days. That's it. That's it. That's it. Was it worth it? No. Look at their face. They're so sad. They wish they could go back in time and change time. Go back. Change what they did. Hopefully other individuals will learn from these individuals' mistakes and say, you know what? You know what? I'm not throwing my life away. I'm not throwing my life away until next time. F Service TV, tell a friend, tell a friend. I see them do it. I see them do it. With the sad face. With the sad face.